My uncle Lorenzo Cardoza Jr. was drafted at a young age of 19 years old into a war, the Korean War conflict between the North Koreans and the South Koreans. Conflict was between democracy and, and a dictatorship. Our country joined in to assist the South Koreans in the year of 1950, and we stayed with them to its end in 1953. Lorenzo's story starts in the foxhole, where he was holding the line near the DMZ zone in a place called Satori, Korea. On December the 14th, 1952, uh, while in his foxhole with his comrade, uh, the North Koreans began an assault on the American forces. Lorenzo was in an advance position trying to fight off these advancing forces when he was wounded by a crease in the cheek by a bullet which struck his buddy who was standing behind him in the neck and I understand killed him. Lorenzo continued to fire his weapon at the oncoming forces. Uh, he was a BAR expert rifleman and he fired two clips and while put in his third clip he was blinded by a motor shell that exploded in front of him and was wounded by shrapnel. Fearing he would be overcome, he continued firing through his blindness and later recovered his eyesight. When, I understand, American reinforcements came to his aid and asked him to retreat and was sent into a MASH hospital unit where um, he was left for a few weeks and then sent home. Uh, he did not receive any of his medals or citations. I learned that in 1978, some 18 million service records were destroyed in a fire in St. Louis, Missouri. 18 million servicemen records with no copies. Unfortunately, my uncle had no copies of his military records. And um, so the, my mother asked me about seven, eight years ago, because of my involvement with the VA center, if I could help or assist in getting his medals and his just rewards. And so I started the campaign of researching and trying to put together a military record for him, which I was not able to do. I did get him involved with the VA system, and he did produce the only thing he had to prove of his, um, his bravery was a letter from his commanding officer recommending Lorenzo Cardoza, Jr., for Purple Hearts for wounds received in action. And the VA accepted this as proof of his service and accepted him into the VA administration, to which he will be taken care of now for the rest of his life. This is what his sister, Amelia Galarzi, my mother wanted, and what I wanted, and what his family wanted, and it was everything that Lorenzo Cardoza Jr. deserved. His bravery is a credit to his family, to his country, and is my hero. Each and every military personnel who serve in our country is my hero because at any time they could have been called to duty and I feel certain that they would have performed their duty for God and country and for their fellow comrades. And so I salute all of our military personnel and thank you for your service. Amen.